What is going on guys, BCD here, and today I just want to bring you a quick video. Basically today I want to talk about the YouTube monetization changes. Um, if you haven't known or if you haven't seen anything, basically you now have need a thousand subscribers to make any money and you have to get about 4,000 hours of watch time over the last 12 months to do so as well. So let's just go ahead and discuss it. So there's a lot of people upset about these changes. I just so happen to be one of the individuals that does not feel any certain way about it. I feel like the people that are cutting off is really just the one hit wonders, the ones that have like a million views on some random video with only like 150 subs. They just tired of paying out really. It's like you get a lot of money real fast and they have to pay you. So I'm pretty sure that's pretty what they what they're just trying to stop. So the more and more I think about it and look at the overall picture, I can see that it can't effectively hurt anyone that puts some effort into their channel on the week or bi-weekly basis. Maybe someone who waits a month between loading a video or something like that. But trust me, if you have like under a thousand subs and you're not getting like 4,000 in the last 12 months, you're more than likely just uploading some poor content or something like that like your uh, failing mixtape or something. It's not. It's honestly not that hard to um, get the watch time and subs on, this, on YouTube. As long as you put some time in to create meaningful content, you will not have an issue. I only feel bad about the changes on how sudden it came around. They could have gave us like a six month notice. Like around that time, maybe, you know, put some more effort into your channel. Maybe you can get there. That's my only regret. I wish they did not do that. Um, my drive to create a channel with good content has not diminished at all. I still want to create content for a array of people and gather the opinion of the viewer. I would rather them do an overall overhaul of the terrible bot that demonetizes my videos, which with this change, you know, to the qualifications will more than likely affect uh, less channels to qualify for monetization means it gives them less of a chance to be paying out spam and channels that just copy content as well as it gives YouTube the opportunity to weed out a lot of monetized garbage in one fell swoop. Does it sound harsh? Yes. Um, but it makes the creator work harder and make better content for YouTube in the long run so they still win. Does it suck for now? Yes. Um, the most you'll probably be missing out on while you get into that amount of sub is will probably fall between $150 to a $300 range. Now, if you're one of those one-hit wonders, um, deeply apologize. You're probably going to be getting robbed. Um, you're more than likely is going to be missing out on some thousand, um, five, four, four, around a thousand to four thousand dollars if you get up to like a million views on a video or something like that. Um, YouTube monetization has been in a weird place since the change in 2017, and really has not gotten any better for smaller YouTubers um, or less family-friendly channels. I hope with these changes, they can actually monitor the content that's being monetized a little bit better, as well as present YouTube creators to more advertisers calling a better streamlined approach to monetization, rather than this guesstimation of how much you'll be paid. I really don't like it right now. So with the changes to YouTube, I'm not screaming their praise, but I'm also not screaming for a revolution either. Um, YouTube will continue to be the best platform to create content on regardless. They have the biggest platform and audience. We will one day have a rival with maybe Instagram and Facebook, but I really don't see much change in the structure. They probably more than likely be structured the same. YouTube is starting to change the way they do business because they will no longer tolerate the mess of allowing everyone to create. They would rather have a few good programs, <coughs> YouTube Red, uh, that can be controlled and marketed because, God forbid, they lose any advertisers. There was also the preferred circle, and now they weeding out the spam and garbage. Um, this is a good business move, in my opinion. They will still have the best platform because someone will always be able to find my garbage, just as well as a famous person. So, get to work. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this commentary, don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Well, do you like the changes? Do you even care? Do you, are you a creator? But yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.